It's expected to help fix parking problems at the River Market, but is charging you for parking solving the issue? Now new at 10, 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed find out, finds out how much revenue it's generating and why some business owners are now calling it a Band-Aid solution. Among the sounds of the city market, you'll hear Danny Spini's voice. Come spread out on watermelon, Mary Jo. His business, Global Produce, a staple in the market for 15 years. So I'll make sure he gets that filled up. In that time, he's seen the River Market area explode, but one amenity wasn't changing for customers and employees. They couldn't find a place to park. The solution? Paid parking on weekdays from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. We were there on March 1st as the new policy hit these surface lots managed by City Market. One of the first citations of the day went to Dale Castle. Come back and find this, so it's $33. We kind of took that case by the hand when we saw it on your uh, newscast. Sue Patterson is the director of marketing and events for the City Market. She says Castle's $33 citation was a mistake and she got it waived. In fact, all first time tickets are forgiven and the cost of non-compliance is actually $13. From March 1st to June 19th, when we requested the records, a private company called Premier Parking issued 831 citations in the lots. 179 of those were later voided, but the total profit came to $4,154. Patterson says it all goes back into the parking program. The intention of the parking program was never to make a buck, or we would have done it a long time ago. They're not making a buck off the 245 unpaid citations racked up in the first three and a half months. People who don't pay are turned over to a collection agency. Premier Parking says towing is a last resort and used only when a vehicle has multiple citations or is a safety concern. Still, some city market business owners think the citations are working. It has helped our business. It's helped mine. City market tenants are happy, but just across the street, we heard a different story from some river market businesses. Brisket with green beans and corn because they're trying to just patch something up that needs more work is what they're doing, in other words, yeah. Although it's just steps away, Cascone's Grill isn't technically part of the city market. That means employees here don't get free parking. Instead, they can buy monthly passes for $55. That hurts people. That'll hurt you if you can't afford it. Mary Harmon is a 30-year veteran on the staff. While she says parking for customers has gotten easier, her coworkers who can't afford passes have to find free two-hour parking. They end up leaving work throughout the day to move their cars and avoid citations. It is a pain in the neck, it really is, but that's the way it's gotta be, so what are you gonna do? And he does have that broccoli back there too. Spini realizes his neighbors across Fitz Street aren't happy and says the current solution is really just a Band-Aid. It's something that got addressed. I don't know that it's 100% for everybody right yet, but hopefully the city will find a way to add more parking down here because I think you're going to need it eventually. But right now, construction of new public parking isn't one of the sounds of River Market, and there are no plans on the horizon. Reporting in Kansas City, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. So even on weekdays, there is still free two hour parking inside the city market complex. On the weekends, other surface lots are free, but they are crowded. The city market recommends using other free lots at 6th and Main, 7th and Main, and then taking the streetcar.